So on this unit of work, we are going to be doing something called HTML. Now, the point of this project is that you're going to need to do a bit of code that develops web pages. Now, this is a video just to kind of help you set up your desktop in our lessons. And what you're going to need to do is be able to store all of your files in one place. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my desktop and I'm going to create a brand new folder. And I'm going to call it HTML project. All right. Now, I'm going to double click and go into this folder. Now, it's really important that you organize things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, create a new folder and call it images. I'm going to right click, create a new folder. I'm going to call it videos and I'm going to right click, create a new folder and call it sounds. Now, this is because we are going to do some importing as part of this project. Um, you're also going to be able to include some of these images within your work. So once you've got that set up, you're now able to actually start creating brand new web pages. Now, the first thing you need to understand is that web pages are made of something called HTML, and that is hypertext markup language. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert our first web page here. Now we're going to do something simple to begin with, and I'm going to go onto here and I'm going to go on to notepad you can use notepad plus plus or you can use notepad but i'm just going to use notepad for the purpose of this so i'm opening up notepad now what we are going to do in this first video is we are going to do a basic outline for a web page now we must open up something called tags now these tags all right basically tell the web browser how to work it interprets this language okay We've got the head and notice we close the head. This is where everything, you know, in the browser at the top of the screen where you've got your, your navigation bar, your buttons, all of that, that is for controlling everything that happens at the top. Then it's split into body. Okay. And we're going to go forward slash body. So you'll notice we've got open tags, close tags, open tags, close tags. And to finish off, you tell the browser that it's finished translating. Now that's the basic outline of a page. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the head section and we're going to make a title. So I'm going to open my tag title and I'm going to say my first web page. Then I'm going to close the title. So what you can see here is that's the start of the web page. That's the end of the web page. That's the head of the page and that's the content. Now, before I start adding in some content, I'm just going to save this and you'll see how I do it. So I'm going to go file, save as. It is important that you go to save as. If you do not do save as, it will not work properly. So we're going to save as. And like I said before, use your desktop for this because in our classes, the way things work is uh, we should be saving things into our cloud. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. All right. So I've got my HTML project folder there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this index. Your homepage should always be called index dot HTML, which is the file extension. And I'm changing that to all files by Using all files and changing that to dot HTML, it is now in a format that the browser will recognize. So I'm going to go save. And what you'll notice there is the file extension. Now, if I was to open that up, you can see in the top here, what I've got is my first web page. Okay, that is the title that I put into it. And you can even see that there. If I'm going to change that, I might say Mr. Chambers. And then this time around, I just need to go save. If I was to refresh my page, it changes at the top. So that is your first web page. Now we've got no content on it, but I'm going to show you what to do in the next clip. 